In this segment, I'll talk about the recovery of ions and water from the small intestine or hindgut. As material moves through the gut, eventually ions and water need to be reabsorbed. So we'll look at one cell connected by tight junctions to cells on either side. So here's one cell connected by tight junctions on either side to additional cells. The lumen is here with the gut contents. The way that ions are reabsorbed includes a series of counter-transporters. There's a proton sodium exchanger, a chloride bicarbonate exchanger, a sodium and chloride co-transporter, and there's a chloride channel that can be opened or closed. And it's called the CFTR, cystic fibrosis transporter, chloride transporter, CFTR channel. This process is driven by the sodium potassium pump that creates high sodium outside, low sodium inside the cell. That pulls sodium in, chloride to move in with it. And the enzyme carbonic anhydrase is converting water and carbon dioxide to H2CO3, carbonic acid. That dissociates, and the H plus is used in that sodium proton counter exchanger, and the bicarbonate HCO3 minus is used in the bicarbonate chloride counter exchanger. As sodium comes in, pushing protons out, HCO3 minus is abundant inside the cell, and that high amount of HCO3 minus causes chloride to be pulled in, which is also pulled in by the sodium that's coming. The result is recovery of sodium chloride and passively via a channel that is not yet discovered, moving it across. So let me run through the steps in order. What's driving the process is the sodium potassium pump, which creates high sodium outside, low sodium inside. That low sodium inside means that sodium will move in, causing protons to move out. Those protons are available because carbonic anhydrase has produced bicarbonate and protons. Those protons are available and the bicarbonate helps to drive this transport process which brings chloride in. In addition, the low sodium concentration also brings in sodium and chloride. The net movement of ions across with chloride leaving through a chloride channel here, the net movement of ions across nine causes water to follow passively through channels or some other mechanism. Now I'll diagram the whole system again, starting with the sodium-potassium pump.